and welcome to another episode of 72 Pin Connector. With us this week, we have Adam. Hello. And Josh. Hello. And yet again, a notable exception of Tom is currently on a plane on his way back to Seattle. So we'll be Tom down. <laughs> that dude's always on a plane. Oh, well. <laughs> always on a plane. And with Delta, there's a good chance it's delayed. Um, <laughs> so how's your guys' this week's been going? Um, so far, so good. Yeah, pretty good. I have the meat sweats. <laughs> oh, Lord. What'd you have to eat? <laughs> uh, Meat. Just I, straight meat? <laughs> yeah. Just, like, you just, just killed a cow just, and just I ate it right there in yeah. the field. Uncooked, just, raw, just questionable meat. meat. Like, no. it's just, it's like, what would you like today? Meat. Just yeah, some you can do it general just like meat. Doing video games. No. <laughs> no, my mom and stepdad were having a cookout today. So I went over there and we had some uh, barbecue chicken and Italian sausage and nice. a couple of vegetables, but I ate too much. Ugh. You're at a cookout. You're not I'm there for vegetables. Full. You're there I for mean, potato were... salad, macaroni and cheese, and potato anything that was grilled. Potato salad is nasty. Potato what? salad is nasty. What kind? What, what kind of potato salad? Are you like a, are you, well, there's like there's there's different kinds of potato salad. Are you like a no mayonnaise guy or you no mustard guy? Uh, every kind I've tried, I have disliked. There's okay. like a German so, potato salad, which is really good. It's like sliced and it's vinegary. Yeah, there's like a no mayonnaise, mm. no mustard potato salad. There's also just potatoes, I, which you can I always don't... try. <laughs> yeah, you know, just, just oh, I do like potatoes. Also. I do like to, potatoes. Just actually. like chop up potatoes and then like put butter in it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what goes better with <laughs> meat and potatoes? Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know how close that is to actual potato salad. <laughs> Maybe it's cold. I mean, it has to be cold. <laughs> yeah. See, that's the part I don't really like that much. What the about coldness? like pasta salad? Yeah, I don't like pasta salad either. Well, yeah, I guess if you don't like cold foods, do you like ice cream? Oh, I like cold <laughs> foods. <laughs> don't, don't pigeonhole me. <laughs> hey, come on. So you just don't like cold um, barbecue sides? Like if you uh, go into a cookout, your well, normals are like potato salad, pasta salad, mac and cheese. I like mac and, and baked cheese beans. a lot. Oh, and baked beans. I forget about those because I don't eat those. I just don't like it. most things that end in salad besides like actual salad. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big salad guy. That's what they give what you that? to keep you occupied until your food actually gets there. Well, yeah, of course. But, but I mean, like... It's something to eat to feel less guilty about what you're about to eat. I guess so. That's true. <laughs> I, usually no just go all in. I usually just go all in anyways. If I'm, if I'm there for, like, you know, a steak dinner, you know, I know yeah. what I'm there for. <laughs> you're getting a damn steak dinner. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so Medium you guys... <laughs> So hopefully this week's been a little uh, less chaotic for you guys. You've been able to get much games in. I've got oh. some games in. Yeah, not not a, a crazy amount of games in. Uh, You've actually, been the same more exact on the games I played last week. The same exact games I played last week. So more uh, Hollow Knight. So, yeah, Rocket League, uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, and I played a little bit more Hollow Knight. I think nice. I'm two hours in now, two and a half hours in. I didn't play a lot. Mm-hmm. But you still liking was, it? Yeah. So there's, um, I didn't realize the death mechanic because I didn't actually die yet until recently. Oh, listen to this humble brag over here. No, no, no. no, no. Really I played like an hour. It's the easy beginning part, of course. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, the, the death mechanic is, uh, I guess, kind of like Dark Souls. I've never really played Dark Souls much. But um, when you die, you respawn, obviously, wherever you last saved. But the room you died in has a shade, like a your soul, and you lose all of your like money currency, mm-hmm. yep. and you lose all of your uh, soul energy, which you get every time you hit an enemy, you get this soul energy, and mm. you can hold a button to use that energy to heal, or Don't you need. can use that energy to like attack with like a magic spell or like super dash or whatever to get around the map. Hmm. So when you respawn, you lose all of that, you lose all your currency, and then you gain half the amount of soul stuff from hitting stuff that you normally would until you go to that room you died in and you kill that shade, in which case you get all your currency back and you can get your soul stuff back again. So what happens if you die again? You lose all the currency you had forever. But then, I mean, do you then go back to earning 100%? Yeah, I think so. Okay. But I thought I thought that was kind of cool. It's it's uh it's a cool way to to punish you for dying, 
but it's like a second chance. Like it's not just, oh, I died. I guess I have to just respawn somewhere else and do it again without any consequences. Yeah, but the fun thing I always liked about that is you died there for a reason and you have to go back there and face that reason. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's always the best. But yeah, that's a very Souls-like thing to do. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, you Oh um, yeah, well you've been on you've been on Rocket League, you've been on Hollow Knight, and you did some pub uh, PUBG, right? Uh, uh, yeah, that da- da- <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I did. Um, okay, I didn't want to. <laughs> I have I haven't been doing that great in PUBG lately. Yeah, I don't know, but I like the well, new update. It runs better. The server s- the server performance definitely seems better. You say you haven't been doing that well. However, we totally won the first match we played today. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, but I didn't really do anything in that match. I pretty much died halfway through, and then you guys won. <laughs> what? No, we did fine. I mean, you died, I got two kills, and then Josh just went beast mode. Um, <laughs> but on Battlegrounds, have you guys actually gotten a hold of any of the new stuff, like the Glock? Or anything not, like that? Yet? No, not, actually, no. I didn't not, get any new things. I played with it outside in the uh, like little training area. The Glock is madness. I'm really, I really hope I get one soon. That I can <laughs> report how much it's just, it just just vomits bullets. Yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. Yeah, I do like the. Uh, I like that you can red dot pistols now. Yes, oh, that is that is cool. Um, the 1911 is actually a pretty solid weapon. So to actually be able to aim decent with it is really nice. Yeah, I definitely. I really like that. And also, my biggest thing is vehicles spawn everywhere. It's great now. You can't tell if they're facing yeah, east anymore. That's not always facing east. Yeah, that's it's, nice. That's, that's, that's a good little, move. little thing. Those little things really add up. I think. Next well, up, it is nice, especially for the boats. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. It is nice, especially for the boats, because sometimes the boats face like par- they're always they'll like face parallel or straight in mm-hmm. inland, and now there's like a less chance that they're just facing inland, so you don't have to do like this weird backup turnaround thing for the boat. So like yeah. there's a more a bigger percentage chance that they'll be facing actually like outside of <laughs> a, away from the actual water that you're trying to get away from. So the mm-hmm. circle is coming in on us this one game. I can't remember who I'm with, but they drive the boat. And I'm like, mm-hmm. hey, let's just go. And it's about to get us. They go forward to try to turn because they've never driven the boat. Beach it instantly <laughs> because it's facing the ground. Was that oh, me? Nice. That sounds. That sounds I, think, like I think it me. might I have been I... you, Adam. I was just trying not to say your name. <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah. No you shame. Totally I'm, beat I'm you right away. I'm kind of bad at battlegrounds, <laughs> but yeah, that's Oops, something sorry, I would Cameron. do. Josh, you killed it today, though. Oh, thank you. <laughs> how many? How many kills did you end up with that round? In that round? That one was just eight. Just eight. Only eight. Yeah. Yeah, no <laughs> well, big deal. I don't know. Just like, eight kills. <laughs> it was eight. He, it was just. <laughs> I see, Adam. For us, change. We view it as our team killed ten percent of the players. That's right, how yeah, we're gonna yeah. view that. Like, that yeah. That's a that's a good way to look at it. I like I that. Like that. We, we, we did we did well together. Yes. <laughs> and if um, you count the people that were AFK or died from the circle, you killed like more than ten percent. Right. Yes. Or you discount them, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, <laughs> you'd have to no. discount them. Like we didn't yeah. kill them. Yeah. So, so there's actually like so your people. percentage. You have to remove them. <laughs> so um i also do want to ask you about how this end of season grind's been going for rocket league for you because i don't think it's been going as smoothly as you hoped no it hasn't really been yeah i don't know i don't know why i think it i just we're not playing that well and we're playing worse than we used to so i don't i don't know so it's just gotta well we just don't play as much it's really that's yeah, what it comes down true. to is yeah. uh is like just got to hit it and keep going it's one Mm -hmm. it's just one of those things and right now we're we're in like today's the day that most people are are hitting it hard too so that's true we're hitting everybody so it should be everybody's getting all sweaty and trying yeah trying their best (laughs) i think i think getting into it again tonight would probably be it would be good (laughs) see where we get yeah yeah yeah, and for those of you who don't know, the season ends July 5th, which is why the rank grind is something that is definitely happening for all of us right now. Yeah. Got to get those rewards. Yeah. <laughs> Eric, Eric how's, your, how's your ranked grind going? I know you're sh- shooting for uh, diamond. I'm trying to get me some diamond. Um, I was one division short of it. Now I'm five divisions short of it. Oh. But oh. doing a um, I- uh, tournament tomorrow that you can't have diamond in so it actually works out oh, then hopefully oh, that's good. <laughs> so it's intentional like you were just yes. saying well yeah, uh, i don't yeah, want to yeah. get di- i don't want to get disqualified from this tournament tournament yeah, so i'm just yeah. gonna derank a little bit and 
Yeah, you don't want to get it back later. Yeah, you don't want to try too hard, and you know, just, <laughs> just got to get in that tournament to crash, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm just gonna destroy your beast mode. <laughs> yeah, ranked games always happen in waves anyway. Yeah, I don't true. know how many times every season, whatever goal I want to hit, I get like one division away, and then I lose a bunch of games, and then I get one division away, and then I lose a bunch of games, and then I, you know, you eventually right. maybe get it. I think it's just the pressure of getting it. <laughs> that, yes. that you that you put on yourself and then it's just all over from there you're like oh, oh yeah. i have to you're like oh, yeah. oh well you're not gonna get it then <laughs> <laughs> you can do that eric by the way you you definitely are good enough so just keep yeah. grinding oh yeah i have no doubt i'll get there i'll manage but <laughs> i also have been doing a little bit of other stuff since i know yeah. i'm not always going to be able to get on the rocket league like that right. um recently i started writing the bus into work so Seattle okay. sucks with traffic and they have carpool lanes. I can lanes. only imagine. So there's this beautiful thing where if I take the bus, it takes me about 15 minutes longer to get in, but mm -hmm. I'm not driving. That's nice. And I wow. get the bus for free and I don't pay $25 to park. Nice. So this that's, all adds up. Yeah. <laughs> so what I've been doing is I get to the bus stop. I park because it's a parking ride. I get on and I pull out the switch. That's nice, I, I'm now on board with Tom that that makes bus rides fantastic. So <laughs> been playing a lot of has been heroes, a little bit of Mario Kart. And I do want to point this out. The new Zelda DLC came out Ooh. and they added a incredibly hard mode. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but my buddy uh, Vospec has been playing it. And he said on the very start tutorial plateau, the hardest enemies in the game are there now. And he couldn't kill the very first goblin when it, or mo goblin whenever he got out. Oh damn! He said oh. that he was so hard he broke both the weapons you're given to start with before he killed him. And you had to do something where you caught the grass on fire, ran him through the grass that was on fire, and then attacked him. Damn. In other words, you couldn't <laughs> sounds, kill him because he's that tough. That sounds brutal. Can you just run away? Yeah, just <laughs> not that. Do the run it, the old run and hide tactic. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna have to a lot in that. I'm not ready to mm. start that yet. I'm still having too much just going around with stuff I haven't finished yet. Mm. Um, and there's a cool mode for the map. So this is a huge world. And when you're trying to find all these shrines and Korok seeds, there's like 400 and some Korok seeds. So hard to find. Mm -hmm. The map now will show you where you've been. So you, it'll oh. actually trace it out so you can always hit new areas, which is a really nice feature. And oh, okay. They, nice. That's good. And then they brought in some, um, what's it called, uh, armor sets and stuff, which, eh, oh well. Yeah. But other than that, i mm. um, been playing some more near. And I've got... So okay. now that you've had some more time with that, I've been really looking forward to hearing you talk about this some more what do you think so this game is it's really really fucking good um i'm hoping to beat the first run through tomorrow or tuesday i'm about mm. seven or eight hours in nice. um the way that you customize your character is amazing you're an android so you get these mod chips you can put on your android and mm -hmm. by default you have a mod chip that keeps you alive which you can't take off um <laughs> You have one that's your mini map. You have one that's your health gauge. You have one that's your experience gauge. All your HUD units are a mod chip. You get so much space for mod chips and certain mod chips take up. If it's a really good one, it takes up a lot of space. If it's, if it's not that good, it takes up a little. Okay. So what you have to do is balance. Like I have one that heals me automatically 10% every time I kill an enemy. Heals me, every t um, heals me every time I've been out of battle for one second or haven't taken damage for one second. Hmm. And but the thing is, I can't use my mini map on that. I don't see my health on that, and it gives me an attack wow. bonus. So to me, whenever I get into a battle area, I switch to this mod set. Mm -hmm. So I can't see anything, but I heal really well and I do more damage. But I nice. have another mod set I use to run around with. It gives me like my HUD and stuff. So it's really cool how you can customize your character to the degree of your whole game experience change. Huh? That's nice. really interesting. So how how uh what is the actual mechanic of switching that is there you just pause it and rearrange some stuff or does you have to do this real time in game no you can pause it and there's three okay. there's three slots or three uh setups you can use okay so you can switch it like mid combat if you need to yes and actually i've i've had to do that okay that's um, cool that adds a extra depth of uh strategy to it i like that 
Um, right. I'm playing through on normal because I know this is a very big story game. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm just like, I'm not here for the hard grind. I just want to experience it. That right. said, though, eight hours in, I haven't died yet. Oh. I'm seeing it has a Dark Souls thing where you see where people have died. Mm -hmm. and, and here you can either absorb them to gain shit or you can resurrect them to help you. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing dead bodies everywhere. I'm seeing dead bodies in friendly camps. And I'm just oh. like, how are you dying here? What is happening? So either something's going to happen on the next playthrough that's just like, oh, shit. Or some mm -hmm. people in this game really, really suck. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're playing on hard. Maybe they're playing on the harder difficulty. Yeah. I wondered that, though, with the multiple playthroughs being such an uh, integral part of the experience. I wonder if it does scale with, e with each playthrough difficulty-wise. I don't think... It's, yeah, I think you pretty much... I know a little bit about the multiple playthroughs. And mm -hmm. you're not stronger when you start the second one. It's back to square one. Right. Okay. In a way. But so hmm. I'm wondering if eventually one of the playthroughs, friends are not friends, is what happens. But oh, okay. it's kind of I what's making that. me think. Okay. And there's also some stuff in the story that hints at that so far. So, um, so far, it's been great. Um, I would say pick it up. It's really fun. The perspective changes are still happening a lot. You don't That's have as much cool. airship stuff like you did at the beginning, which is sad because I actually thought that was really good. That mm -hmm. was oh, yeah. really good. But um, there's actually a little bit of first-person control or first-person shooter controls while you're hack and slash. And then there's also some oh, wow. twin stick a little bit while you're hack and slash. It's, it's, it's good. Nice. Do it. Everyone, do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then after that, the only other thing I've been doing is um, some PUBG but I think nice. everyone and their brother has been doing some of that. <laughs> yeah. It's filling that friends list, right? Oh yeah. And that was nasty. <laughs> At one point I got on and there was like nine people on my friends list all playing that. The only one on my friends list that was playing a game that wasn't that was Rocket League. <laughs> <laughs> Checks <Yeah>. out. <laughs> it's really taking things by storm. Right. Absolutely. absolutely. Um, it sold, I just I forgot the number. Was it 3 million already or something like that? Well, yeah. I don't know. I, I believe it. If you look at the just like the Steam charts, even though mm -hmm. summer sales happening, it's still up there. One of the few yeah. games that's still up on the most uh, popular oh, the purchases. Side, what side I mean. note on that. Have you guys seen the news about the crossplay? Yes, I did. For which? Um, Battlegrounds. Battlegrounds. They're wanting to do Xbox Live crossplay. Oh, really? And, okay, everyone always says and knows that PC Master Race destroys console <laughs> players. Um, they're talking about actually doing aim assistance on the console to help level the playing field. Okay. Ooh, yeah, gross. You'd really ha you'd have to, though. There was, yeah, I guess so. It would just be insanely unfair. It's a balance. There's ways you can do yeah. that, and it'd still be good. Like some of the old 64 games had aim assist. Mm -hmm. But right. it, it's... Well, Call of Duty has aim assist, doesn't it? Oh um, well, yeah! Actually, yes. Any co most most console most console shooters have aim assist, whether it be like a small amount or a lot mm -hmm. of it. I'm sure there's a couple that don't, but for the like the majority of console shooters have some sort mm -hmm. of aim assist. Yeah, so I think they'll have to play with that a lot. But I'm mm -hmm. happy that a company's still willing to look at it and try it. I mean, Microsoft did it yeah. with Gears, with non-competitive play types like Horde and stuff, cross-played. Mm -hmm. Right. I think crossplay is important. Yes, and someone needs to tell Sony to get their head out of their ass and actually let it happen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everyone else is on no board. Kidding. Nintendo, Microsoft, Steam, all of it. Mm -hmm. Just not Sony. <laughs> Fucking douchers. <laughs> Fucking douchers. <laughs> so how have you or what have you been playing this week then, Josh? You still getting more into uh, Life uh, Strange? Yeah, I got I got into that a little bit more. It's they should really retitle it as like teen angst the game um <laughs> it's still frustrating it, it, isn't that persona it's just, though it, it's just so uh, angsty mm -hmm. it's like it's just i know i can tell that at some point something a little bit more real is gonna happen but right mm -hmm. now it's like oh parents they just don't understand and then like <laughs> <laughs> and you're walking around and like they like but i think the most cringy part about it isn't the fact that uh that it's like teen angst the game, right? They're whining about mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. I think the most cringy part about it is that like some of the dialogue points are 
like a 40 year old's rendition of what's hip to say <laughs> so they'll, they'll drop <laughs> greetings like, <fellow> kids <laughs> yeah so like a bunch of like there's a bunch of situations where they'll just like drop a hella or something like that when like they haven't mm. been doing it the whole time so like oh, it, it wow. feels really it feels really clunky in that regard right but i mean i know i can see like what the general plot point is and i see where it's going and it's pretty mm-hmm. apparent like how things are going to play out and i'm sure mm-hmm. like all of my actions are going to twist in into each other you know which mm-hmm. is nice but at the same time like it, it i guess i'll just have to ride it out <laughs> yeah. uh i haven't really had a, had much time to play really much of anything because mm-hmm. we've been uh gearing up with our new um with our new additions to our rocket league team which is uh, BP mm. and Vonner, trying to get them acclimated into our, you know, kind of our regimen. They've been pretty. They've been pretty awesome so far. So Are you saying an official seventy-two pin connect to Rocket League team? Is that it, what you're saying? I, I think I am. Yeah, yeah, an official, not just uh, and one <laughs> one that isn't us, and one that will actually play tournaments consistently <laughs> yes. and aren't busy all the time. <laughs> That's exactly right. Good. So right, so that's definitely a big, big welcome to them. Uh, they've been pretty, they've been pretty great, and I think you're going to see a lot more, uh, a lot more of them in the near future. Um, it would also be great, you know, seeing 72 pin connector wins ESL or whatever. Yeah, that would be so cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting absolutely. on it. I'm waiting on it. Not just some random onesie twosies, the tournaments that we did. <laughs> yeah, but um, no, that's 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 pretty awesome. Really excited. Really excited to see more from them. Definitely. Um, yeah. Other than other than that, the little bit of PUBG I've been playing. It's just been a lot. Uh, a lot of Rocket League going through the rank grind and multiple uh, and multiple playlists. Um, we did threes recently, um, a little bit, and we, mm-hmm. we moved up in that. That's good. We moved up pretty nice. good in that. And then uh, twos, a little down on that, but you know what? Like, <laughs> It'll okay. go back up. That's a, that's okay. It's you know, <laughs> equal and opposite reaction, right? Can we can we, yeah. can we bank on that? <laughs> it's part of that grind uh, well, of the roller coaster. Well, what goes yeah. down must go up, right? I think that's how it goes. Um, uh, I hope that's how it goes. Uh, oh, crap. <laughs> In some universes, maybe. <laughs> uh, anyway, doesn't matter. Speaking, doesn't matter. Of multi- <laughs> speaking of multiple universes, the Rick and Morty thing for Rocket League. Oh, yes. man. Yes. I'm so excited so for this. For those of you don't haven't heard, Rick and Morty is coming to Rocket League. They are going to have Toppers, uh, Cronulon, from the signifying expanse or however they say it is going to be a topper that's going to be paintable which is going to be awesome nice <laughs> it's pretty cool it's pretty cool looking so if you there's didn't some, know by now rick and morty is everywhere in everything and all over the internet it's not <laughs> just the topper though there's wheels there's a boost there's some antennas right yes but that uh, topper all is kinds awesome of cool stuff <laughs> <laughs> I kind of just like the Morty antenna. <laughs> I'm not right. even, I don't even wear an antenna. Isn't in, that the, the one game, when he's but... like falling? He's yeah, like he's running like, or something. Yeah, looks I, like I, he's I, running. I could. I he, could lo- he, he looks very scared and out of his element as <laughs> right. usual. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So just doing that. Doing um, pretty much just just Rocket League, uh, grinding up through ones and solo standards, which is pretty much hell <laughs> not not because it's so all that difficult <laughs> not because it's all that difficult uh it's just that people are are mean <laughs> yeah that, that's been bugging me a lot this week i didn't know how much you guys were seeing of just the general toxicity when it comes to playing with some of this stuff because i have to run a lot of solo standard so i see a lot oh, of yeah. flaming going on see i haven't played Every time I've played lately, I've been partied up with friends, so I haven't had any of that. Oh, but I definitely uh, have in the past. <laughs> you see, I can definitely. See Even when I'm partied up, I still see it. Like when I'll be running yes. with two other guys, you'll see the other team all of a sudden start the what a save, what a save, good play right. whenever their teammates fuck up. <laughs> Instant message flaming each other. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm assuming it's hard, it's hard. It's hard with just text because you don't know the tone they're trying to convey to say that in like yeah but that's I, that. you've <laughs> got these quick you've got these quick chats that can all be taken sarcastically right and yes. you don't know if they're being mean or if they're <laughs> just being like 
jokingly sarcastic, which so you would I love to think person, that, but, <laughs> but I think we all play yeah. enough games and we all have to deal with it enough, or we know they're not accidentally doing it, and we know they're not well, joking. Can, right? Yeah. You can't accidentally well, <laughs> type. Why didn't you save that, you piece of donkey crap? Like <laughs> your, your fingers <laughs> like, don't uh, slip while yeah. you're playing. You don't. You don't drop the. When, end, you don't drop an end bomb like six times yeah, in a match and telling you to kill yourself and. Right. All kinds of lovely things. See, most of the time, the shit doesn't bother me, but every once mm -hmm. in a while, someone will say just the right thing, and it'll just get <laughs> right underneath my skin, and then I'm just right. tilted, and it's it ruins me. And I'm just thinking right, the whole right. time, I'm like, so, I played right into what this dude wanted. Well, so I do mean, you give do you give it back to him or do you ignore it? It right. depends. If he get on, if what he gets like under my do? skin, I'll I'll give it back. Yeah, but I'm one of the guys who will wait until the end because I mm. don't like doing that mid game because you're typing when the game's going on and bad things happen. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. I mean, in some situations, such as like one, I'll just mute everything and yeah. go through it. Cause I'd rather focus yeah. up on ones anyway. Um, mm -hmm. On other, on other game modes, you know, a lot of times I'm with like, I'm with Adam like partied up and, but I, I see what they're saying to each other. Mm -hmm. in chat in global chat you know they're just yeah. they're yeah. just flaming each other talking each other down um but a lot of times you know it's not anyone's fault i don't know if you've ever heard of uh of creeping determinism but that's mm -hmm. exactly what that is you don't it, it, it's it's also known as hindsight bias i don't know if you guys have ever heard of that oh. either but uh yes. it, it's it basically what it is is that when you see something happen and you think and, and something bad happens because of it, in hindsight, you, you now know that, that that decision was bad. But if mm -hmm. the situation was to occur and then you pause it right before everything unfolded, you wouldn't know what to make. Like that person wouldn't know what decision to make. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you wouldn't know that you could get that angle or or you were going to be there based on his camera you know where his camera was looking like you don't know and it might just be an unfortunate situation but mm -hmm. unfortunately the rocket league's played by plagued by hindsight bias because that's 100 percent what it is is a little bit of chance and mm -hmm. a little bit of like just kind of awareness and knowledge as you go through it and as you get better and better like your awareness gets better but you know you you don't you don't know what's gonna happen every single time. You don't know for a fact of mm -hmm. everything that's gonna happen. And just because you got scored on because you hit it to the left and you didn't see the guy to the left, doesn't mean that it's your fault necessarily. It doesn't mean that you should get flamed <laughs> for it. It could and that's and that's a lot you get a lot of times with especially with those sort of people like ah I always get shit. Well, that might not be the case. You know you you're not giving your teammates enough credit. Well, it also goes but, way outside of Rocket League. Um, Battlegrounds. Oh, yeah. Battlegrounds is so fucking bad. Well, it was also just everything. But I had to mute. At one point, I unmuted, and this dude who killed me walked over my body. It was like, yeah, we've been following you fuckers this whole time. You guys are garbage letting us follow you for over blotty blah circles. And just starts rambling while I'm <laughs> dead. And I'm just thinking yeah. the whole time. I'm like, whoa. It's, it's, it's almost it's, as got me as much as the old Halo shit did. Halo is the one ground <laughs> where when you talk shit to me, I instantly fired back and it was just instantly mm -hmm. on. The consoles, I think, were always the worst. Yeah. Well, it's so easy for people because you've got that veil of, you know, you're anonymous pretty much. And it's easy to dehumanize the the people you're playing with because... You know, you're not face to face with them. You don't see how what you're saying could maybe actually affect them. Right. Exactly. It's easy just to spout off whatever, and there's no consequence. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm also used to really, playing basketball with random people, and don't worry, it happens <laughs> in person too. Oh yeah, it does. But at the same time, well, it's there's just, a difference between being hateful and just like banter. It's more about how you handle it in the end. You know, mm -hmm. like it doesn't matter. It's going to happen. That's just life. Mm -hmm. Someone's going to not like your decisions or not like you <laughs> as a person yeah. <laughs> and you're just going to have to power through it and as a, an adult <laughs> or kid, I suppose, depending on who's listening, but you just have to take it with a grain of salt. Don't, you know, don't, don't let it get to you. But you see the video games bugs me because in real life, like on basketball or any sport, when someone pisses mm -hmm. you off, you get an adrenaline rush. 
you run a little <laughs> faster, you throw a little harder, you jump a little higher. In video games, you get that adrenaline rush, you just start making bad decisions. It's, at least for me, that's always how it equates to. That adrenaline rush doesn't do shit for you in a video game. So the whole time you're just sitting there like, I'm anked or amped up, but that doesn't do anything for me. Uh, I don't know. I've noticed sometimes somebody will be uh, talking trash from the other team and they're just, they're so annoying. You really don't want to lose against them. And I've right. had times where you just, you just, it puts me in this focus, this, I am <laughs> so focused now on this game t on winning and making the right choices. And it, it just depends on. I don't know. It really comes down to the person and how you handle it. Yeah. And you just have to, you, you have to, as just a human and for your own mental health, shrug it off. <laughs> you know, just yeah. if someone's talking trash, it's, it's, it's got to feel bad for them because they're taking their time out of their day right. to type this message to you. This, this wonderful message about how intercourse was had with your mother and your family members mm. <laughs> and, and they, they took, they took the time out of their day to do that. And that's, and that's wonderful for them and actually special for you. And you should take it just as that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Oh, thank you for this message. And, and I, I appreciate that my life affected you so much that you had to send yeah. me a, a candid message like that. <laughs> and Dobby, yeah. Dobby points out something in an area that's really, really rough for it. So Rocket League or Halo or something like that, you're stuck in a match for 10 minutes, five minutes. Dota, right, yeah. you're on an hour long grind and you'll ha be getting flamed by your teammates for an mm -hmm. hour if you die in the very beginning. If you die once in the laning phase, if you have a shit bag for a teammate, you are going to get ripped the entire game, regardless if you make another mistake or not. Right. <laughs> and you can't get away from it. So... I don't play Dota. So what kind of punishment is there if you just leave and you refuse to deal with that? Uh, you can get deprioritized out of queue. Mm. So it makes matchmaking really suck. And if gotcha. someone quits, it ruins the game and you'll get reported. People report you. And you can eventually get banned okay. out. So what about, is there a reporting system for the people who are... Yes. Ver ...verbally abusive? Can you report them and maybe they'll get put into that? deprioritized queue? Yes, that can happen, absolutely. However, what tends to happen if one person is bitching at one other person and they're both by themselves, you're the only mm. one that's gonna hit them on it and it's not gonna do anything. Mm. But Dota's also one of the weird ones where sometimes I can tell a guy's actually just trying to coach up someone and mm -hmm. the person he's trying to coach up just goes off on him. <laughs> so, I mean, it's- People just take it too, too personal. Yeah. yeah. Like there's a difference between attacking somebody as a person and attacking what they're doing and trying to make them change what they're doing. Right. Uh, yes. Like in a competitive environment, you know, you've got there's there's strategies in every game and not everybody plays the same way and it's easy to just hate the way somebody plays the game and I right. think people get frustrated and take it out on them instead of like analyzing the situation and figuring out how you can fix it. Right. Because when you get mad at somebody and you, and you start, you know, bad mouthing them and it's not going to make them play better. Do you think they're going to respond positively to that? Right. <laughs> like, is absolutely. That, are they going to be like, Oh God, you're calling me a terrible person. I'm horrible at this game. I now I have to prove you wrong and play so well. It's like, no, they're going to shut down and you're going to lose. Right. Exactly. And especially yeah, normally like when I um I'm doing like solo queue twos for Rocket League, for instance, it was when someone like makes a couple of mistakes back to back and you say, No problem, no problem, it's fine, you know, and like give them give them like positive yeah. you know, reinforcement through their mistakes. Like a lot of times mm -hmm. they turn it around and they do quite well. Mm -hmm. And and mo more times than not, if they make make mistakes and you say and you say, It's cool, you know, like no no big deal, let's keep going. Usually mm -hmm. they turn it around and, and, and good things occur. Usually you're winning. Yeah. <laughs> but that is you know? also half of a recipe of something that gets me fucking pissed immediately. You're forgiving. A guy makes like 20 mistakes and every time like, no problem, no problem, no problem. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you go for a 50-50 and the ball pinches into your goal. And the first thing that some <laughs> bitch tells you, what a save. 
<laughs> right. Well, I mean, again, like, then you just hit him with a no problem. <laughs> you know? Yeah. If he's See, you're the jerk. smother him with kindness kind of guy. I mean, we have That's two different personalities been. when it comes to this. Well, the thing is, is, okay, I did, like, when I played a lot of, um, I, I played, like, the beginning Dark Souls, right? Like, I, I was in the beginning of Dark Souls where everyone was, like, ridiculously noble. And that's what got me into it to begin with. It's like when you went into a PvP, you bowed, you backed off, you bowed again, and then you played. You you like, and then when someone else comes in, they bow, they heal, they take their you know they take their stamina grass or whatever, and then, and then you play. You know, and, yeah. and when you're ready, you bow and then you fight. And if someone for any instance like backs away. And you know, then the other person backs away and waits for everything to be resolved. It's it, it was so honor bound. I've never played anything close to that. So everyone was ridiculously <laughs> kind on that, and it worked nice. really well as far as like you know, getting better and improving. So I kind of have taken that into every single game um, that I've played before, and it's just like being nice gets you further, keeps you balanced. You know what I mean? I'm seeing it right now. They had something like, they put something like that in COD. Everyone looks at each other. They switch weapons to show a sign. They go away. And while the person goes to bow, the other guy pulls out his 50 and shoots him in the head. I mean, that's just how I'm (laughs) seeing it right now on Xbox. Well, well, what ends up happening, like, especially in like a Dark Souls situation is some, is that at some point someone's not going to bow and there's a ton of cheap crap you can do in Dark Souls. So (laughs) if you do that, and someone's in, in a really good player is bowing to you, you're about to get dumpstered. Like they're going to roll back, stab you. They're going to do everything cheap and dirty to you. That's possible until you just lose. <laughs> you're just going to lose eventually. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's just not going to be an honorable fight when you do that. And that's just how it is. And th- unfortunately there's nothing like that. There's no like way to punish someone like in a rocket league or like in many other games, maybe even a Dota. I don't know too much about that. There's mm-hmm. no way to like really punish someone <laughs> in some way for just not being honorable. But it would be kind of cool to see a reporting system come into Rocket League that can maybe there like, is one. There is people, one. People be, people have been getting. You didn't know there was a reporting. System. I've you never didn't seen know it. That, you just yeah. hit report. Start report. Do you and, say um, like what it was that they were been, doing? Yeah, uh, there's and it takes a clip of chat and you can submit it to the people. It's really good. They've actually they've actually banned people temporary, given people temporary bans for being toxic. A lot of people have been getting that. Um, oh, you're gonna shit. get that. It, there's a lot of people that have been getting it, and I, I don't know how common that is in other games or how effective it is in other games. In this one in particular, uh, you know, people people dropping those you know those harsh tones are gonna. <laughs> <laughs> harshing the mellows. Har- the, yeah, anyone the harsh, harshing community. the mellows. Yeah, harsh my mellow. <laughs> those guys are. Those guys have been getting getting caught, and they're and they're getting. They're, they don't get to play this fun video game that they're playing for some reason. <laughs> getting angry at. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't even know. I don't know why. Like I don't know why you would. Like getting mad at yourself is one thing, but getting like going out of your way to be horrible to people just verbally. Like, right. I don't know why you, you subscribe to that. Like, I don't know yeah. why that's your day to day. Like, you're like, you know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to be a shitty person. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and I'm going to be a shitty person to anyone I can get into contact with. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I mean, they're, they sometimes have reasons for doing it. In Rocket League, if you're in solo standard, mm-hmm. if you can get the other team to start bitching at each other, it really ups your odds. <laughs> it, does. It, does. it does it really does if you call out a really shitty play on by someone on the other team and you get one of his teammates to agree you kind of just got a bone or a benefit there from it yeah so I mean, yeah. at the same time be, like i don't condone that at all no neither do I. Yeah. but you can you can absolutely use uh toxicity as a tactic yeah you could in you a could. competitive game i find more enjoyment out of out of the games where everyone's friends and everyone's really nice <laughs> because what ends up happening is you make friends, you play with them again, you develop almost like a community of people that are all super cool and everyone wants to like get better together, you know? And then when someone gives you advice, it's not, you know, the shitty advice. It's like, it's like, Hey, yeah. that was awesome. You did a good job. Check this out. You should do this, try that. And it's right. all positive. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> 
No, no, no. I'm not, I'm <laughs> not so, saying I Why pref- are you a good person? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and I'm not saying, yes, I love flaming. I love doing I'm just pointing out the fact that it actually can be a valuable weapon against a team. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. yeah. I, I wonder, I'd like to see, I don't know, you couldn't really collect this data, but I would like to see the percentage of people that don't actually feel or mean what they're saying they're either having fun or they're trying to win with tactics versus the percentage of people that are actually upset. And that <laughs> yeah, is that true. is them coming out onto the keyboard. That's not, you know, them they're not trolling. trolling. Yeah, they're not trolling. Yeah. They're actually just so enraged and they have to let it out. Right. right. They're bending, and they're flexing that controller, you know, testing. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know, they're just like, no. You know, is, this, is this really you? Is this you as a person or is this you as... A character. Yeah, right, exactly, right. exactly. Well, one of the guys we played a lot of Rocket League with, and he does it in all the games he plays, d He trolls. <laughs> and oh, he just tends to up. do it very comically, where most of the time people can tell. And yeah. you sometimes see people just bitch back, but other times you see someone just roll with it. And it's yeah. fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it can I be mean, funny. Yeah. It's an art form. I mean, you could, you can't just. It, some people that do that, it, it really is almost an art form. <laughs> you go, you can't just say like, "Wow, you suck," and then uh, assume the other person's gonna be like, oh, You're "Right, <laughs> I oh, do suck." What a jokester! What a jokester! <laughs> yeah, this guy. Look at this rascal. Look at him um, just having fun. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. like, but I, I feel like it's a, it would have to be. A, I think well executed, and from what yeah. I hear, Delaz is an expert in such in such yeah, arts. There's a, lot, there's a lot of nuance. It's an art. Yeah, yes. like you said, he's a art. masterful <laughs> troll. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, do wow. you guys have anything else you want to throw in on this, real quick? No, not much more on uh, on toxicity in general. I yeah, just think I, I think yeah, don't let it affect you. Just don't let it affect it. you, and if you're one of the people doing it, don't be an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just, might actually be affecting people in any yeah, way. Just stop. <laughs> Troll stop nicely, it, my friends. Yes. Really? Really? What? A D-Line's trolls in a great way. I love that. All right. That's <laughs> we at 72 pin do not con- we can done. <laughs> can done yeah, sorry, sorry. All right. So let's <laughs> let's get to a little news and uh just also quick shout out for everyone <laughs> watching. Um directly following the podcast, we will be doing some community gaming and be doing CSGO arms race immediately following Join the us. cast. We'll have a link in the chat as well as a post on our um, Twitch to our Discord. Everyone can jump in, get in the match with us, and all of us have a good time. But We're going to be streaming it too, so even if you don't want to play or you don't have CSGO, feel free to watch, and we'll be all hanging out together. And if you want to Watch and jump in the Discord, jump in the Discord, hang out, all good. Either way, let's get to some news. News. And open it up and, you know, like we do every week, there seems to be something Switch related. Nintendo has came yeah. out and they're saying that a lot more, or I shouldn't say a lot more, but they plan on bringing more Wii U games to the Switch. Okay. A Wii U, a very underselling console, had a few gems mm-hmm. on there, such as Mario Kart 8, that Nintendo's right. realizing, hey... This sold okay for the console. Let's get it on our best-selling system. Probably it's going to be of all time. Right. So So they're saying, oh, our last system didn't sell very well, but there's actually some good games on it, and nobody knows they exist because it didn't sell very well. But the Switch is selling great. So I'm going to use that opportunity to... Do we, do we have a list of any of those? Uh, any particular no. that you know of that are going to be they ported? Didn't no, I don't. Any. There's two games that are heavily expected. Super okay. Smash Brothers Wii U, which will right. be rebranded. They're not going to call it Super Smash Wii U for the Switch. Right. <laughs> awesome title. Super Smash <laughs> Brothers Wii did? U for the Switch. <laughs> <laughs> that would be terrible. Wii U Switch Edition. Wii Switch Edition. <laughs> Wii U Switch. Hey, I got yo. nothing now. <laughs> no, um, anyway. No, 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 no. And but then another I, one that's I mean, heavily... I oh, I was going to say real I, quick, I, Mario Maker. With oh, the touchpad. right. Pad. Mario Maker would be great. Oh, yeah. Mario Maker would be great. Uh, I mean, along along these things, I wonder. Uh, like, I wonder what they're really going to bring over, uh, especially like one uh, one like Smash. I feel like Smash they might as well just do like a, a like an, a slight like a one point five expansion kind of thing. You know, like you go from we oh. you know you have a Wii U version and then they just do an expanded version for it. So it's like it's kind of like a sequel 
that's kind of what I would expect more so. I'm glad than, you would point this out. Right. They actually stated that there would not be a direct port, but actually it will be enhancements to the games. Okay, that's mm. what I would that yes. that's what I would have done. Yeah, like Mario would, Kart that 8, Mario sense. Kart 8 Deluxe. Right. Okay. Where they and give they you a couple and they added characters. Splatoon stuff and yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes, that is exactly what they're debating on. And um actually Dobby brings up Pikmin, but actually they're going to be having a Pikmin game for the Switch. I can't remember what it's called, but it's not a traditional Pikmin game, which will be interesting. Hmm. But I'm excited. I didn't have a Wii U, and I knew that there were some good games on there. I just hope this doesn't mean that the Twilight Princess and Wind Waker get remakes of their remakes like Shadow of Colossus is. <laughs> That's true. Sorry, Adam, I know yep. that's your game, but... <sighs> I know. It's been jam. It's so good, though. It. They should just remake it for every console generation, better and better and better, until it's just the best Perfect. thing in the world. <laughs> also, I, I I wouldn't mind if they made the, like a uh, zombie or the zombie U game. I don't know if you guys ever played that. Um, no, that one was a lot of fun. It had a really cool death mechanic where if you die, like you become a zombie and then you respawn at your save point as a new mm-hmm. character. That that one was pretty fun, but it was like it's kind of broken where i was at like because i i had like i died with a bunch of really good stuff and then like i ran out to go get my really good stuff but they don't mm-hmm. give you any stuff from that save <laughs> so you run out there and then you have to fight the zombie and then you die and now you don't have your stuff and there's another zombie <laughs> over there. so you just get screwed uh, but the the gameplay was actually really fun. i really enjoyed that one it'd be cool if they remedied that one thing and then, mm-hmm. and then came back through but it was really cool like um you had to lift up this the uh wii u pad to um to, like look at stuff like you had a flashlight mm-hmm. or like nice. uh or when you went into your bag you had to like go down and, like, look at your bag here and on the screen it would show you going into your bag. It was really mm-hmm. cool really clever like use of the touchpad so that was cool to see that. uh come back I'm just curious to see how they handle some of these because the Switch has a touchscreen, but when it's docked, you can't. So it's not like the Wii U where you have the screen and the touchpad. It is it is your screen or it is your, you know what I'm saying? It's one or the other. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. Um, also, mm-hmm. real quick Nintendo news. Uh, it's official. The SNES Classic is a thing. Uh, nice. For those of you who haven't seen, it has a really fucking good lineup. I'm actually kind of excited about this lineup. But the headline of it is, never before released, Star Fox 2 will be included in this. So it was using a special uh, effects chip in the cartridge when they were making Star Fox 2. And it Mm -hmm. was completed. It was about to ship. And Nintendo decided, this is too close to the N64. We are not going to release anymore. And it got stopped. Oh. Crazy. Yeah, I I, I don't know what the allure for these are. I don't know, like the this the the Super Nintendo one and the and the the first one that came out the the NES. Like I don't understand why people go out of their way to get them or to buy them or to at all <laughs> because you can order controllers that are USB Super Nintendo or Nintendo controllers that go mm-hmm. directly into your PC. They actually make Bluetooth ones that you can get, and they're yeah. the, they're the exact they're actual. Um, uh, you know the the real controller, and they just right. Bluetooth in. Don't you and say then, what you're about to say? What? Don't like you, an, don't like, you like, condone you what you're about to say? <laughs> uh, what? Uh, no, technically, if you own the product, if, if you it's a digital own, backup, you're good. Yeah, exactly. And I own a lot of real physical copies of these games, so but not Star I, I don't Fox Two. I, I suppose yeah. not Star Fox Two. I guess that would be the one, but so, at the same time. I, I, I think I with go ahead. I think with these with these uh I don't want to say re-releases but with these classic edition consoles I don't think they're necessarily marketing towards people who are going to emulate on their PC and buy a Bluetooth controller from Amazon or build right. a RetroPie right. you know emulation console these are for the people that you know they played Nintendo when they were a kid and they played the Super Nintendo when they were a kid, and they're not hardcore PC gamers right now. You know, you know, one of my coworkers right. bought one of the classic Nintendos. He doesn't right. really game, but he did when he was a kid, and he plays this thing all the time. And he loves it. Right. You know, they're good. But it's yeah. There's that absolutely, but also kids. 
a parent who used to game mm-hmm. can get this for their kid. There is no online. Mm-hmm. It's not that expensive. And they can reminisce like, hey, I used to play these games. Mm-hmm, Throw it right. over to their yeah, kids and that. enjoy it with them. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, there were some great, there were some really great titles that I'm glad are coming back. So yeah. for Super Nintendo, I mean, I don't know what, I haven't actually looked at the list. Did they actually put out a list of all of yeah. the games? Yeah. Um, yeah. They're, they're right here. This is a really solid yeah. lineup. Let's, let's go through some of them. Yeah, you um, have what people say the best Mario, 2D Mario of Super Mario World is on here. Great Headlining. game. Um, a genre-defining game, or actually made the whole fucking genre of kart racers, Super Mario Kart. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, uh, Super Metroid, um, Donkey F-Zero. Kong Country. I love Donkey yeah. Kong Country. I played a lot of that. Mega Man X, Castlevania 3, the uh, last, Super Punch Out. The last Final Fantasy to come to Nintendo. Well, I shouldn't say it like that. The last mainline Final Fantasy to come to Nintendo, FF3 slash 6. Yeah. Right. I mean, uh, there's, some, there's some good stuff in here. Some of, yeah. the, some of my favorites aren't on here, though. So especially for oh, really? Nintendo. Like some of my favorite ones that are kind of like strange off the wall ones, like, mm. uh, like Sam and Mac was really fun. And uh, Evo Search for Eden was a blast. Uh, if that was your first, um, first attempt at it, it was amazing and it's a cool ride. All the Breath hmm. of Fire, all the Breath of Fire, uh, Search for Breath of Fire Two in particular for me was really, really great. And mm-hmm. a lot of and I mean, your Final Fantasy, those that were all in there. And then you go into like the Disney ones, like The Lion King and Aladdin, which were really difficult but a lot of fun. And those aren't mm-hmm. accounted for. You're only you're only in here for 21, which is great to bring them back. Like, but I don't know if they're ever going to put out more of the classics on, that you can get your hands on because there's just so many great ones, and these are great for sure. Especially you have like you know Punch Out and and Street Fighter Two, like that's that's great. You know, there's some really good ones. Like you have mm-hmm. Final Fantasy Three, yeah, but you know at the same time there's there's so many. There's there's well over 800 different yeah. games that you could dive into and just experience. Uh, You're about to get fact checked there. I guarantee that. But what <laughs> I can't I can't imagine the the process of them narrowing down which games to put on these things. Part of it is licensing, right? Yeah. I think the oh, only okay. third party you're seeing here is Capcom. Mm. Everything else, I think, is first party. Right. Okay. I can see that. I can be- see that for sure, especially when you get into the into some of the weirder ones that have like had splits and mergers. And yes. <laughs> there's some, there's some interesting licensing that's probably going. Which outside of Hopefully. Sega is probably the reason you'll never see any Mortal Kombat's because Midway's under and that whole license is all fucking weird now with Nether Realms. Yeah. <laughs> right. But that is a thing. Um, yeah. I might end up with one of those. I'm not sure, but. <laughs> on with others um so there was a new update to gta 5 that leads to part of the ufo mystery to gta 5 i don't know if you guys huh. are familiar with that whole mystery i am uh yeah tom ran down the whole thing with us one night and i could not follow it <laughs> pretty much <laughs> too much it's pretty just much too there much there is some ufos in the game there is three documented ufos in the game there's one that when you have 100 percent, right. you go to this one pier at this one time on this one day a ufo mm-hmm. appears in the sky uh right. there's one at the north of the map under the water and there's one if you glitch out of the screen on the right hand on the far east side of the map you can fall into one hmm. um, right then there's this map up on this mountain that no one was like what goes on And they've started to overlay this onto the world and realizing it correlates to certain events and places in the actual map. One of these spots that they could never figure out what was going on is they've data mined the game to find out that something will spawn there. They just don't know how to spawn it yet. Right. Hmm. So this game has been out since 2013, I think. And this mystery still hasn't been cracked. (laughs) (laughs) So was new data... Like added? the game was updated. Did they add data? It seemed to it? like the spawn that may have been added, and that's when the miners okay. caught it. I think. That's I was going to say because it. with that much time, you would think the data miners would find anything relevant yes. by now. And so also, unless they're adding things to it, 
to, you know, go to the next step of the puzzle or whatever. It seems so long for it, though. And one of the things on the mountain is something that looks like a jetpack also, which is a very important thing to call out. Mm. (laughs) A lot of people really want that. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) Um, Some quick Overwatch news. Uh, For Overwatch League, Overwatch is now starting data collection for scouting. Nice. So everyone has to opt into it, and then they have some very strict regulations where you've had to compete in so many top-tier tournaments, place top 100 in so many top-tier tournaments. And if you agree, they're going to start collecting your data on all your stats, how you play, and they're curating Mm -hmm. all of this and giving this to the owners for when it comes draft time. Nice. So I absolutely love how this is happening. I think this is the best thing that can happen for esports as long as Blizzard doesn't keep exploiting owners for more money. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You definitely would like to see that succeed. And you having more sports background than us. It seems as though this is going more in the line that regular sports do. If you exclude Blizzard's money grab out of it, yes. This is going to be set rosters, guaranteed contracts, set to locations. It is going Mm -hmm. to be very real sports, which will be, I think, good because I I think this could get adopted and really help other esports out. Absolutely. And then one little more bit of news, and this is actually, once again, end on a good note. Um, so everyone remembers all the news from AMR2, another Metroid 2 remake, where Nintendo gave them cease and desist. There was a Pokemon fan-made game where they gave them a cease and desist. Well, Halo is getting a fan-made game. And oh, 343 knows about it, and 343 said, go ahead. Huh. Nice. The only That's stipulation so is they cannot make money off of it, so they can't sell it. And the, okay. the dev team has went as far to say we won't even accept donations. Oh, wow. Wow. So they That's are making cool. sure in Bungie, or I, I almost said Bungie, 343 is 100% on board. And the trailer for it looks pretty solid. Nice. Uh, it That's looks, cool. It looks like a Halo game. Looks like it's all made like in Forge, honestly. So I don't know what engine they're yeah. using. I think I said Unreal, but I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. so it'd be interesting to see what they do it'd be great to see since it's fan made to go back to the halo 3 halo 2 era of multiplayer it would make yeah. me so happy a very uh, red versus blue <laughs> yeah. yes it definitely puts 343 in positive light you know this is a really good pr for them i think yeah and it's really good to see out of a first party development mm-hmm. team a big mm-hmm. name to just be like you know what we're gonna let our fans do this just don't sell our shit, but go ahead and do this. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Definitely. Um, do you guys have any other news that you wanted to throw in that you saw through the week? Oh, no, nothing. No, that co- that pretty much covered everything. Well, with that said, um, if anyone wants to um, give us some suggestions for next week or maybe a game to play after next pod or cast, you can always tweet at us at, uh, at 72 PC podcast. If you're watching us live, you can check our YouTube videos out at 72 pin connector on youtube if you're on youtube you can come check out our live stream on twitch 9 p.m eastern time and you can just look up 72 pin connector we come up well and i think that's all we have for you this week i uh, would like to do a quick little call out we had uh senka rl thanks for the follow and emma louise thank you for the follow stay in here jump in the discord if you would like to play some csgo with us and see you on a few minutes game on <laughs>